Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to my tutorial on how to set up free digital television that you can get from live broadcasts right out there in the sky, right around your house. I tried out many different antennas and many different digital TV converter boxes, and for the antennas, the best one that I was able to find is this RCA uh, multi-directional digital flat amplified antenna that you see right here. This is the box. Sorry the presentation isn't a little bit neater but couldn't quite figure out how to do this any better. So that is the best antenna I was able to find and I'm not being paid by RCA by the way. And right here you're able to see the digital TV converter box that I found to be the best which is made by Zenwell. And just so you know if you have a digital television already you do not need this. This is only for whenever you have an analog television. That is the only time you need that. But first off, I'm going to show you exactly how you hook the antenna to a digital TV. This is one of the parts you get with a digital antenna. And as you can see here, this part goes into your antenna, which is right here. And this part goes out to your television, which you can see over there. Then on top of that, there is a plug attached that needs to go into an outlet and that is basically all it takes to hook up an antenna to your digital TV so you can receive live broadcast. And this is how good the digital TV looks that is 100% free aside from having to buy the antenna. And it is also extremely easy to set up. All you need to do is plug the antenna into the side of the digital TV, turn it on, and it automatically sets itself And up. here is a diagram from the user's manual for the RCA digital antenna. As you can see here, there's the one connecting piece that lies between the television and the antenna itself. And all you need to do is plug in the power adapter and plug one end into the antenna and the other end into the television as I show. And here is the Zinwell digital converter box. Here's the back end of it because the video is a little bit blurry. As you can see in the part labeled one, this is where you would connect your antenna to the back of the digital converter box. The part labeled part two is where you would take coaxial cable from this converter box, which it does come with, and connect it to your television. Also, there's an option of connecting to the television using both the audio ports and the video out. And then at the end here, we have our AC adapter. And also from the owner's manual, you can see here exactly how you would plug everything into the television. Take you maybe a minute to two minutes. If you have a regular analog television, you would need the digital converter box, which you see here. This is the back of it. And right here is where you would plug in for the antenna. So instead of having the antenna go into the television, the antenna is going to go directly into the back of this box. This is the cable that will go into your television. And again, here's a power adapter which needs to go into an outlet. And here is the box itself. You can change the channels this way, but it also comes with a remote control. And this is what the remote control looks like that comes with the Zinwell unit. This is the major negative with the Zinwell unit. People don't like it, but I find it's perfectly fine for my personal uses. Okay, as soon as you have your television and antenna and digital to analog converter box all connected, to set up everything from that point, you would then select your language. Then I'm going to check the Eastern time zone because that's what I currently live. Then I click on OK. Now it's gonna check all the channels that are currently available to me based off of my area. I'm currently in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, so some things here may be different for you. And you can see down here below all the channels that it's currently finding. I'm currently up to six, and we're almost done right here. And there you are, saving data. And there it is, digital cable on an analog television. And that's pretty much all it takes to get free TV. And you see here just a sampling of some of the channels. They all look equally as good as regular cable. Now remember, this is an analog television though. If I shift through, you can see here, showing me signal quality, signal intensity, giving me a lot of information. This is regular ABC, looks just as good as cable. This is a channel that plays old movies in my area. 
This is a signal that's currently not working. This is NBC. Again, looks pretty good. Another channel, that's actually an analog channel. You can see everything looks really, really nice though. QED is local broadcasting. And of course, you got Home Shopping Network. I think it's really neat how it has the signal quality there and all that information. Many people don't know there's this many channels that are for free. And you can see, the dynamite, they look fabulous. So that's the end of my how to get free TV with a digital converter box and antenna. For anybody who's been doubting that, it is a good thing to try. Till next time.